you don't want to intentionally sell someone a lab grown thinking it's a natural. But I can imagine that they just accidentally might do that. And so I'm just curious what you're aware of the different steps that, that jewelers have tried to take over, over this past you know, several years to prevent that from happening accidentally. Yeah, I think the, the ones that hope that their vendors are doing it for them mm -hmm. are being a little too trusting. Uh, about, I don't know, what was it, Josh? Like four years ago, we, we invested in the technology for the machine that we yeah. just talked about, mm -hmm. <laughs> where we literally test every diamond and every piece of diamond jewelry that comes into our store in this synth detecting machine. For us, if there's any sort of level of suspicion, piece goes back to the manufacturer. And I think that level of, even if it's a little teeny tiny one point diamond, you know, which the smaller they are, the, the harder they are to test. Mm -hmm. But it is important to know that, that your retailer is, is doing that because you yeah. don't want to pay for laboratory-grown diamonds right. as natural.